just had a test drive in this uh, coach here, which well, is... Well, not a test drive. We didn't get to drive it. A, 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 a ride. A test ride. Okay, Not a yes. test drive. Test yes. ride. Um, yeah, so we, we got to, to, to experience being in what is uh, the first model year of RVs with um, the first step towards self-driving. Tiny first step. It's, <laughs> but, yeah, it's auto the... braking and yes. auto cruise control, which is yeah. still pretty freaking cool. So what so, do you think, Shree? So, I have this fear of being in vehicles that are not, I don't like that closing distance between the vehicle in front of you and us closing up. I mean, I clinch, right? And so this was no, She like, doesn't just clinch, she makes a little eating noises. It's kind of cute. And I try, I had to really not try to eat on this. I probably should have, it would have been fun. But uh, yeah, so this, we're in this big motor coach and the driver is intentionally. He, with his foot off the brake, going 35 miles an hour and with a, a stunt vehicle in front of well, a stunt vehicle it's a vehicle in front of us that is trying to do this that is then slowing down in front of us and we're getting this close to its bumper and then the brakes it and and the collision is avoided it, it will first give a, a a little audio indicator and a light to let the the driver know that hey something's slowing down in front of you then it will tap the brakes and if you still don't respond it will hit the brakes at 50 percent and slow down and come to a full stop even if it needs to to avoid the collision which is a wonderful safety feature yes yeah, so it was really cool because you know we drive a 1961 bus that has nothing electronic in the engine <laughs> mecha in the mechanical I, I system am the cruise control um, so it's really cool just to see what the state of art is in RV driving and um, I don't think we're gonna be rushing out to get one but. No, no, but, <laughs> but but the one thing that would get me to buy a, a, a more advanced modern RV would be when two or three more steps are taken down this road so Right now, this has got also adaptive cruise control, so it will maintain distance and speed behind other cars inside of you, which was, we drove in actually Tampa rush hour traffic, and it was actually pretty awesome. Never stepping on the brakes or the gas, just being able to keep pace with traffic. That is pretty cool. So we actually, actually you know, our follow, our lead car would get off the interstate down an exit ramp, and the, the RV would automatically use engine deceleration, braking with both the Jake brake and also the, the mechanical brakes. And, didn't yes. crash. So. Yeah, so, so so that is great. The next step, I imagine, would be um, a lane holding, so that the the RV will stay in the center of the lane automatically. But they you... said they said they are not working on yes. that. Yes. So so, so unfortunately, I was hoping that they'd say, "Yep, that's coming in two years or next year," and they're like, "No, no, not working on that." And I'm like, no, do it, because once you start to control the steering. The computer technology is getting to the point, and the AI technology is getting to the point that uh, self-driving cars are basically just uh, just now starting to pop up in the roads. And um, self-driving RVs, I mean, self-driving cars, okay, cool, but self-driving RV would be the bomb. And when I can get a self-driving RV that I can get in, get on the highway, press the cruise control button, say, wake me up when I get to exit 237, and then I can go back, have a sandwich, watch a movie, take a nap, and then have my, have an alarm go off, say, hey, come up and get get back in this driver's seat. That's the RV I want. I want, no, I want the one that can also auto unhitch the car, dump the <laughs> tanks, and get us back into our spot. That would be cool. <laughs> okay, that would be even even cooler, but I will I will upgrade to a better RV than Zephyr when I can get self-driving. And actually, I also want a diesel electric hybrid drivetrain, you know? I'm, you know, no. we could just like get them to convert Zephyr to this. Yes, that would be awesome. If I could get a retrofit for an old vintage bus, but you know, the, the whole idea, like diesel electric makes so much sense for RVs, is to have a generator running at a constant speed, very fuel efficient, and then electric motors driving all the end, all the, uh -huh. the wheels. Yeah, that, we're getting a boat, okay? No, no getting we're getting a boat. a boat, but we'll come back and get a different RV when they finally the tech catches up with where it needs to be. Diesel electric, let's do it. Auto driving diesel electric RVs, let me know when they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Take it care. was a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting us, Spartan. <laughs>